We're going to do another segment on uh, common mistakes we see when transmissions are being installed. A lot of these newer vehicles and some of the older ones um, on the shifter cables. And this is actually the, the cable that comes down from your shifter down to the transmission. And as you move your shifter up and down for forward, reverse, whatever you're going, this thing moves and it moves a lever back and forth on the transmission. And these cables nowadays, these ends are made of plastic and then they have a rubber bushing that goes inside that, that cable that pushes onto a plunger that holds that cable on there. Well, from heat and grime and, and you know, time and, and wear, those rubber bushings wear out. And you snap that cable back on there and it doesn't fit very tight anymore. All of a sudden you have your customer calling a day or two later saying, hey, I, my car won't go into gear. It won't go in forward, reverse, nothing. You get it towed in and you found that the, the shifter cable has popped off. Well, some of these shifter cables you can buy new bushings for. Some of them you cannot. This particular one, you cannot buy new bushings for it. Uh, this is out of a Chevrolet. So you have to put a new cable on it. Obviously, again, it's a lot easier to call your customer. Hey, we've got your car apart. We found that the, the bushing in your shifter cable is dried out, worn out. Uh, it's going to fail. It's a lot easier to sell them that cable at that time rather than after it's been towed back in and the ball is kind of uh, in your lap at that point. So something to watch for on shifter cables. Uh, something that we also commonly see is, is these bushings wearing out on the shifter cables.